Hey everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. I have three of the new eyeshadow palettes from Yves Saint Laurent and it's the Couture Mini Clutch Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. They just came out with six new shades that I believe it's gonna be in their permanent line plus two limited edition palettes. And I went ahead and picked up three and spoiler alert, I went ahead and ordered four more. I couldn't help myself because I was really impressed with these palettes. But we'll talk about that later, but let me give you some information about these palettes. Again, they're the Couture Mini Clutch Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. I had to look to make sure I'm saying it right because it is a long name. And here is what the packaging looks like. It is the mini version of their Clutch Eyeshadow Palette, which I believe has 10 shades in that. So we have a little mini version of it, and this has, you know, kind of a a cushion feel to it with the YSL logo on the front and here's what it looks like on the back. It does have like a little snap closure kind of like a bag, a mirror inside with two brushes and here's what one of the palettes look like. This is 100 store dolls and it's what I'm wearing right now on my eyes. YSL is a luxury brand so these palettes do cost $68 and we could find them on Bloomingdale's website. These palettes are couture inspired palette of six irresistible nude shades and two limited edition statement harmonies in an iconic couture mini clutch. Like a mini clutch bag framed in gold it's a perfect size for your eyeshadow looks. Precious enough to take with you everywhere. Comp compact enough to never leave it behind. These are enriched with precious oils such as sweet almond oil and coffee seed oil for a soft feel on skin and strong yet gentle staying power. So these are a couture eyeshadow quad with satin, matte, metallic, and shimmer finishes for iconic YSL eyes. High pigment payoff in a soft, oil-enriched formula for up to all day wear. With six new palettes inspired by the dusty pinks of the Casbah, the spice colors of the soup, and the soothing tones of the designer's Paris Atelier. You can express yourself with an edge. So again, I did pick up three palettes, 100, 300, and 400. So again, this is 100, it's more cool tone. And let me go ahead and swatch these, and they are very creamy, very buttery, even the metallic shade. And this is what I have on my lids, and it's just, I mean, wow, look at that. That does catches the light there without looking too glittery. So let's go into this cream color. And this one's more, this one's more of a shimmer because you can kind of see a little bit of some sparkles there. And then let's go into this deeper brown matte, more of a cool tone. I mean, very buttery. And then this brown taupey shade, it's more of a satin finish. So here are the swatches of 100. You can see it's more of a cool tone palette. And sometimes cool tone shades could look a little dirty on my skin, but I don't see it on this palette on me. And the next one is 300 Casbah Spices, and it does make you want to sing Rock the Casbah. I'm sure you've heard that many times with this one, but here is Casbah Spices. But let's go in with this shade. And this is more of a peachy metallic shade. And then let's go into this cream color shade here. Again, more of the peachy tones. And then this brown matte. It's a little bit more warmer in tone then 100, and then this peachy shade. So this palette does have three mattes, that's what I'm seeing, and one metallic shade. And then here is 300 right here, and you can see the difference between 300 and 100. Of course, it's a little bit more warmer, and it has more peachy tones. Now let's look at 400 Babylon Roses, more of a pinky purpley palette. So here's the top row. Now I know it doesn't look like it's much when you swatch it. Looks more like shadow toppers, but you'll see in the video how much of an impact it had on my eyes. I mean, this does not give it justice to when I applied them on my eyes. Cause I thought that these would be, you know, more like shadow toppers. I was quite surprised and you'll see. And then let's swatch the bottom two. And there you have more, I guess, matte shades. So we have 100, 300, and 400 and they're very different from each other. So let me go ahead and show you the looks that I did with these palettes. The first one is this one, 100, and I did talk in that one, and then 300 and 400, and that will be set to music. So let me go ahead and show you those looks, and I'll see you on the other side. Let's go ahead and take this one out of the box, and that's what the packaging looks like, very YSL. It's kind of, uh, kind of cushiony too. It does come with two brushes, and here are the shades of 100. Very cool tone, very pretty. Okay, so let me go ahead and prime my eyelids. This one is by Fenty Beauty. 
So let's go into this deeper shade first. Place you in the outer corner. That is pigmented. Take me a minute here to blend that out. Wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let me try not to go that deep on this side, but I kind of have to to make it even. Let me go into this cream color shade and just kind of hopefully didn't mess up this look. Try to diffuse that line up there underneath my brows. This could be the highlight shade. Yeah, it does have a little sparkles in there. Using my finger, let me go into this satin shade. Very pretty brownie taupe. And let me get the brush and just kind of fuse those two shades together. Now let me go into this first shade that's kind of like a shadow topper, but let me tell you, it's got some meat to it. And let me just go ahead and place that on top of that brownie taupey shade just to give it a little bit of a sparkle there. So if you can see the difference between the two, this one does have that uh, shadow topper where this one is more, you know, subdued. But let's sparkle you up. Go back into that deep shade very lightly and just kind of build up the outer corner. So for underneath, let's go into this deep shade. Place you in the outer corner. And then let's go into this satin shade, this brown taupe. And place you like the other two thirds. And then get this kind of a topper shade. I'm just gonna call it topper shade. And place you more in the inner corner. You would have never thought that these two would be this pigmented. When I swatched it, it looked like shadow toppers, but wow. 
I have to say the looks that I did, they turned out really pretty. I was really impressed with them. This one, 100 store dolls. I think it's very pretty. You could make a really good dramatic eye look with this. Again, it's more of a cool tone palette, but it's very pretty, very pigmented as you saw. When I use this brown matte shade, I mean, <laughs> you just need a little bit. Luckily, I was able to buff it out and it's very pretty. And the shades just look so well together. And then these two kind of metallic and shimmer shades, very pretty on my lids. Now this one, it's more, I guess, to kind of tone it down. That's what I did when I put too much of that deep brown matte. And it did give me a little highlight underneath the brow bones. Of course, you can use it however you like. You can place that one on your lids. You can use one, you can use two shades. It's a beautiful palette, beautiful palette. Now I have to say my favorite is this one, number 300, Casbah Spices. This is more of a warm tone palette, had the peach shades in here. And the look that I did with this palette, I think Think it's one of my favorites and when I showed my husband the palette that I used he looked at it and then he looked at my eyes he goes there's no way that came from from this palette and I said yeah it's how I used it you know placing this matte shade all over my lids and then placing this shade on top of it, it had a different look to it now this shade did kind of come out but I did press it back in and I hope it's yeah it should be set nope <laughs> It did come back out so I need to carefully put that back in because it is very delicate very soft okay I did put it back in so I'm not gonna try to you know upright it because I don't want it to fall out again because this one is my favorite palette so far of the three that I used and then this one 400 Babylon roses another beautiful palette now this one one shade did not come out but the whole thing came out. So I probably need to kind of glue it back in there. You can kind of see the spot there. And I have been seeing that these do kind of come out. So I guess we need to watch out for that because I have to admit these are beautiful shades. And when I use this palette, I thought these two metallic shades would be more like shadow toppers because when I swatched them, it wasn't anything there. But when I put it on my lids, I was like, wow, where did that pigment come from? <laughs> I mean, because look, you can see on my arm, it's not much there. The mattes, they blend out beautifully. They are very pigmented. And the metallics and shimmers and satin finishes, beautiful. These are beautiful palettes. And I went ahead and ordered 200, 500, 600, and one of the new limited edition ones. I think it's 910. Trocadero Nights. Now the other one, I don't see it here on the Bloomingdale's website. It's more of a blue tone palette. I don't think I'll be getting that blue one that's limited edition because I'm not very good with applying blues. So I'm good with not getting that one. I am excited about getting the others and I'm really happy with these. But I will be doing another video or two using those palettes because these really did impress me. The pigmentation, how well we could blend it out, the metallic shades just has that sparkle to it and it doesn't show emphasis on my aging lids and it does stay on, does increase. Really impressed with these palettes, really impressed with these palettes. And the packaging, the mini clutch, very luxurious. You can take these with you when you travel. I don't know if I will because they are kind of delicate. How the shades just come out either the whole or one so i don't know if i will because i don't want to ruin them but the palette's very luxurious and the shades it's there the quality is there with these palettes 68 dollars yes it's expensive but to me i think you are getting what you're paying for they're not like tom ford and his palettes i believe are 90 dollars now and i don't see the pigmentation with those of course i haven't used one of his palettes since that eye and cheek palette fiasco. I think it's more pigmented than Dior, than Chanel. So yeah, the formula with these palettes, very impressive. Love the color stories, love the mini clutch, and love the shades. And I think that's all I wanna say about these palettes because sometimes before I sit down the video, I have what I wanna say in my mind and then when the video's over, it's like, oh, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> But that's how I am. That's how I am. Well, all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of me trying three of the new Couture Mini Clutch Luxury Eyeshadow Palette by Yves Saint Laurent. And there'll probably be one or two more videos of me using the new palettes that I'll get. And I do hope that you catch those when they come out. Well, all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and liked this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.